Hey guys, it's Jeff from Everything Plans. Today's video is going to be an experiment video where I hope to either prove or disprove a theory or myth out there that if you have a plant or cutting that is uh, typically a little bit more difficult to root in water, the theory is, is if you add a pothos cutting in with those cuttings, it's supposed to help it root faster or better. So that's what I'm gonna do uh, today. I'm gonna cut up some Scandapsis exotica, place uh, two cuttings each in these uh, containers of water. And in one of them, I'm going to take a couple leaf cuttings from these uh, pothos plants and see if it actually helps it root or if it helps it root faster. So yeah, just a little experiment and uh, we'll see how it does. So I'm just gonna cut these up here. I'm not gonna do like a propagation tutorial, but uh, basically you just want to take um, some individual leaf node cuttings. I'm gonna cut four of them here and I'll place them in the containers here. So I'm gonna do two in each, just kind of drape them over the side. Actually, I'm gonna trim this up a little bit. Don't need that much stem, just as long as there's uh, some little aerial roots right there for root development. So I just took a small little section off of my pothos plant from up here. It has uh, some fresh cut ends and I'm going to cut them up into single leaves like the uh, Exotica. And I'll be placing them in one of these containers and I'm going to compare the growth over the next uh, few weeks here. So I'm going to stick it in this one. And just like that and I'll set them aside in a kind of bright sunny area and I'll definitely be providing some updates here soon so can't wait to see uh, hopefully some good results. I've been checking these cuttings every day now it's uh, day five and the pothos cuttings have definitely started to sprout some roots. That's pretty surprising that was uh, very quick. This one is getting some nice roots there as well. The uh, scandapsis cuttings doesn't look like any, any new roots or root development yet. I'm hoping that we'll start to see some here fairly soon. But this one, no new fresh roots popping out of those ones. So now we'll move on to just the Scandapsis ones. Doesn't look like anything on this one yet either. I haven't done anything with the water yet. I'm not gonna be changing out the water in these containers. I'm just going to add water as needed, just because if there is a natural occurring hormone from the pothos plants, I don't want to uh, keep dumping it out. Mind you, it'll probably regenerate anyways. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to add some water in, just make sure it's topped up and we'll go from there. It's been 17 days now and the pothos cuttings have uh, definitely rooted very nicely. This one's got some good roots on it as well. And I want to show you this uh, Scandapsis right here. It's got a new root. Uh, this one right here, it still has just that little aerial root portion, but uh, no root, uh, new roots popping out of this one. And moving on over to the container with no pothos, no roots on this one. And even the leaf is starting to curl a little bit. so. I'm not too optimistic about uh, the just straight water propagated ones. You can see there's no new roots popping out of that. So that's kind of where we're at right now. I'll check back in a, uh, another little while here and we'll see how they're doing. Okay, here's another update. I'm gonna start with the pothos ones here first. And look at this root. It's got a nice, big, thick, juicy root. Uh, it's got two little ones sprouting off on the side. Doesn't look like there's any new growth or anything like that. Um, here is the other one. Didn't have any growth previously, but you can see it's getting a nice little root there and it's actually getting a new little growth point right there. The uh, pothos, look at these. New growth, big, thick, juicy roots. So pretty interesting for that one. Okay, let's pop these back in the water and let's check out this one. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this one here. So this root probably started about a week ago and I just thought I'd get it a little bit larger just so you can see it on video. It doesn't look like there's any new growth points. And this one, it's not looking too good. It's starting to curl up a little bit and there is no new root growth from this uh, little aerial root 
It's been just a little over a month since I put these cuttings in water and although I'll be keeping them in these containers for a little bit longer, I thought I would end off this video today as I think there is quite a remarkable difference between the roots of uh, both of these plants. So I think there might actually be some merit to this myth of does adding pothos to water propagated cuttings actually help them root faster and better. So I'm gonna start off with the uh, pothos skindapsis cuttings here first. And look at these roots. Got some new growth right here. Got three thick, large roots coming out of this one. You can see on the back side here as well. Really healthy looking roots, getting some new growth. The other cutting, it's got uh, one large, whoops, get in the frame here. It's got one large root and it's actually getting some new growth here as well. So these are the pothos propagated uh, cuttings. I'm gonna put this off to the side. I'm gonna show you the pothos leaves themselves. Come on. So here's one. It's got uh, some large roots on it and it has some uh, new growth. It's got a new stem popping out. And then here's the other uh, leaf cutting. It's got a little bit of growth there as well. And it's got some nice uh, thick juicy roots. So these pothos cuttings rooted really, really well. And they did uh, fairly quickly as well. I'll uh, put these off to the side and we'll do the just the regular uh, skindapsis water propagated ones. I did not change out the water. I've only added water to the container when uh, the levels get a little bit lower. Here's the one cutting that actually got a root. It looks like maybe a little bit of new uh, growth popping out the side there as well. But the uh, size of the, uh, of the root here is a little bit smaller and a little bit thinner. And then this one here, it doesn't have any roots at all. It never did uh, pop out a root. You can see there's a little aerial root right there. Just by looking at the difference between the two set of cuttings here, I would definitely say that the pothos had an effect on the size of the roots as well as the rate of root production. Uh, I think uh, it was this one here that uh, sprouted first and uh, these ones were a little bit slower. Well, this one didn't get any roots at all, but so yeah, I think it does benefit to add pothos cuttings in with uh, your water propagations. So I think that's going to be pretty much it for this video. I think the results speak for itself. I got some nice uh, big juicy roots on the uh, pothos propagated cuttings and not so much on the uh, water propagation, just straight water. So let me know down in the comment section if you've ever tried this in the past or if you add pothos cuttings to your water propagations. Um, if you have any other comments or questions, please leave it down in the comment section. I always appreciate the support. Thanks for watching my videos. Take care, everyone. Bye.